What's up guys, welcome to your 146th Android tutorial for the new Boston and again what we're going to do is get our actual key for a map instead of the debug key and since we exported our project and signed it uh, now we can get our actual key so what I want you guys to do again is go to this website code.google.com forward slash android forward slash add dash ons forward slash google dash APIs forward slash map key dot HTML and that's gonna bring us to this site again we're just gonna scroll down to basically this line of code that we're gonna follow again you guys wanna open up your command prompt and uh, or you do that by going to start on Windows and then CMD or on Mac you go to applications utilities and then terminal and this is where we're gonna get our again our fingerprint for the most part so let's go back into our finder or you know whatever let me pull this over I'm gonna go into finder documents Android apps and then uh, what we're gonna do is right click on our maps key store and go to like get information I forgot what it's called on Windows I mean just had Mac for like a month and I already pretty much forgot Windows entirely but uh, there we go um, basically you're gonna get the location we're gonna copy this this path and uh, refer to it in our terminal or in our command prompt so let's get started all we have to do is type key store or key tool I'm sorry dash list space dash alias and again our alias was named map alias so this is where it's a little bit different than last time because again we have to refer to the name of the alias that we saved within our key store and then we're gonna say space dash key store and then space and then our path so I'm gonna hit control V forward slash basically our key store name which we called maps key store so maps key store <clears throat> And then uh, we have to hit space dash pa uh, store pass. Um, and our password was Travis or whatever your guys' password was. And then our key pass uh, was also Travis. Then when we hit enter, we should get our fingerprint here, which again is pretty much the same as last time. We just copy that. And we're going to go down to register a certificate fingerprint and we're gonna hit uh, I've read and control paste and then all we do is hit generate API key I probably I'm gonna blur out all this stuff because I'm not for sure if I'm supposed to show you guys but hopefully you get the gist and then here's our new key that we are gonna copy and paste into our project so we're just gonna copy this and then I'm gonna pretend like I paste it where you know our debug key is but actually I'm gonna paste it and then run our application and make sure it still works alright so basically pasted that ran our application and hopefully it still is going to load our map. If it doesn't, you guys need to probably, uh, you know, redo the terminal or the command prompt and make sure that's right. Um, so hopefully it works. And yeah, for the most part, it's it's good. For some reason, it's I think it should be good. I don't know why it's loading like that. I think if I run it on my phone, it will actually work. But as long as you get some sort of map, it should work. And then we can assign this to the marketplace, and it will work. So. I'll catch you guys